Michael Stanton here doing a video today of an incredible automobile that I have owned for the last six or seven years. Probably the finest 67 Eldorado you're ever going to see. This car is so incredible, I use it on my business cards. But I'm going to pass it on to somebody else. So I'm going to do a video today and walk you all around this unbelievable 67 Cadillac Eldorado. First year the Eldorado and Cadillac front wheel drive automobiles and I am a big collector of these cars. I absolutely love them. To be honest with you, they're probably my favorite car in the whole world for about 15 different reasons. First and foremost is the looks. This one right here, like I said, I've owned for the last six or seven years and I bought it up a gentleman out in the Midwest who did an unreal restoration on this automobile. When I bought it, the odometer said 0002. It had two miles on it. Now it has 33. So I have put 31 miles in this car, believe it or not, in the last seven years. I've loved this car, shown it off. Everybody is just enamored with it. But it's going to move on to somebody else. It is a near flawless condition throughout. The paint is unreal, honestly. I'm going to see if I can get some nice close-ups here, but everything on this car is just fabulous. Incredible, beautiful, straight. The paint, base coat, clear coat, is just flawless. It's just absolutely stunning. Sorry about the wind noise. Filming this here at my property in Clinton, New York. Zip code here is 13323. It's got the most beautiful color combination. And for those of you who know 67 Eldorados, you'll know that that right there makes this car very valuable. You'll hardly ever see one with a center console. And this car has that. And that's why, years ago, this car was the recipient of this unbelievable restoration. That leather you see right there is fine Italian leather, and it is unreal. Got to stop saying the word unreal, but that's what it is. It's soft and supple. It smells like a brand new leather jacket in the car all the time. The only thing this car didn't have done when they did the restoration is for some reason they forgot to put the speakers back in the dash so the radio works fine along with everything else but um, you just gotta put a speaker in there and hook it up this is the loaded out one AM FM stereo AC works good it's got the cruise the sentinel lights so you turn off the keys and the lights stay on for another 30 seconds or however long you set it and it's got those two-tone doors, if you can see that. Of course, this was all redone. Kind of a tan on bottom and a darker tan on top. Carpets match it, so that darker carpet matches the door panel right there. And then the dashboard matches the seats and that beautiful console that you never see carpets everything is beautiful shape clock even works dashboards in nice shape headliner Let's see if I can take a look at the engine here for you doors closed exactly like they should no door dings no damage to the paint it's straight as an arrow
even those headlights were covers were repainted all this was anodized alumina aluminized whatever you call it all of the fender skirts in here were painted everything was redone Valve cover covers are just perfect. That's the way they should be. Headlight covers look good. Like I said, this car was restored by a restoration shop out in the Midwest. And they really went over and above. And the reason they did this is because this is not a bench seat car, which 95% of all the Eldorados were. This car has the console. So let me grab the keys, we'll look in the trunk. Here's a view of the back seats. So I will take a trade on this car, maybe. Something fun, something beautiful, something I can have fun with. I might be able to deliver it to you. Again, I'm right here in Clinton, New York, zip code 13323, right in the center of New York State. Beautiful place to come visit. Store to Clinton, New York. I wish I could get a closer view of the paint, but the paint is just so beautiful in this car, you wouldn't believe it. It's just unreal, it's just really. I think that's called astral ventilation. I forgot what that's called, but a lot of Eldorados didn't get this. This one was loaded. I've got the entire story of this car. It was owned by a doctor who lived in Florida, and he drove it back and forth for like 25 years to Florida, Minnesota, stored it in the winters. And then I believe it went to his niece or nephew, who sold it to the gentleman I got it from. I know all the history back till day one. Like I said, the car has been with me for seven years. I've enjoyed every minute with this car. If you go to my website, supersportmotors.com, you'll see that on the first page of my website, this is the car that I've used for my advertisements for the last seven years. So if I sell it, I guess i got to change it. Even all the weather stripping is new. People may balk at my price on this car, but I'll tell you what, I know a lot about 67 and 68 Eldorados. I've been buying them, owning them, and selling them for over 20 years, and I've never had one that's even come remotely close to the condition of this car. The top's all perfect. So I'm going to stand back so you can get a better view of this. It's even got the original C.F. Goodrich Silverstone replica title tires on them, and they have 33 miles on them. Bias, the way that they used to be. So if you want to ride a little bit more modern, you should put radials on it. But there they are, and there's ridges on this too, just the way they used to be back in the day. But they're in perfect condition, as are the hubcaps and everything else on the car. Got the original manuals, the protector plate, and all that kind of stuff, if that's what they called it. 
right before I bought this car, took first place in some Cadillac show in the Northeast, took first place. I've got the ribbons and everything for it. So there it is, there it is ladies and gentlemen. My 1967 Cadillac Eldorado with the odometer showing 33 miles on it. I bought with two miles on it. And that's what I had on the odometer when the car was completely restored. Bumpers re-chromed, repainted, original tires put back on it, interior redone. I know he told me it cost ten thousand for the paint and five thousand for the interior. And that's just for the seats and the paint. If you want to know what a car looks like that's going to go up in value in the years to come, as they have already been doing on these cars for at least 10 or 12 years, you're looking at it. No rust to speak of. There's a the VIN number, H727-6600. Start it up here. You can see how she runs. Runs like a million bucks. Drives like a million bucks. Actually, had to get it aligned here about a month ago because. It hasn't seen enough road use with me, and it went out of alignment sitting around for so long. Pretty quiet. It's got a nice little rumble, but just a little bit. Quiet going on the road. Mike Stanton, my phone number, 315-725-1966. I'll consider trades, but... What I want is for this, for this car to go to someone who will love it as I have, because this is a very, very special automobile. Thank you very much.